Today I would like to talk to you about a few extra features we have in our auto guidance and how to get the most out of them. So we're going to start off with the three different types of wayline we have available in the Smart Touch armrest. And the first one we have is this simple AB wayline, so we'll just press go. And again, it's as simple as just press the A button, drive forward at least 10 meters. If you have a long field, I'd recommend you drive to the very end of it. So make sure you get it most accurate. Once you've driven at least 10 meters, press the B, and then you've created a wayline, and off you go. Simply press the auto guidance button, and she'll steer along now. Another type of wayline we have is a contour wayline. Now, a contour wayline allows you to draw a curved line or wavy line, and then it will extrapolate that line across the whole field. So to do that, simply press this one in the middle, contour wayline, press record, and then it will record where you drive. So like this, for example, I'm just going to follow this slightly wavy edge of the field here um, for this boundary. Now once I've driven a certain amount down the field, I'm just going to hit stop. And then you'll see it actually extrapolates that across the whole field, that curve, as you can see there. The third and final type of wayline we have is A plus heading. A plus heading is a very simple thing to create. You just simply put in the angle you'd like to drive at. That will be automatically the angle the tractor is pointing in. Press tick, drop point A from wherever you'd like to start, and it will immediately create your wayline. That's really handy for, say, going into a, a maize field or a, a field which has been harvested and you just want to cut across the, the former lines at, say, a 45 degree angle. And then once you've created a wayline, again, same as always, just start driving, press the auto guide button, and she steers down it, and off you go. In the auto guide menu, you will also find your machine width settings. So let's just press there, where it says 6.98, and then you will enter into this display here. As you can see, you can set up where, how wide the machine is at the bottom here, where it says 7 meters. Uh, to change that, simply press the, plus, the arrows or use the roller on the side of the screen. Now the harrow I'm pulling today is 7 meters wide, so I want it at 7 meters. I'm also running on RTK accuracy, so I don't really need much overlap, so I'm just going to put in 2 centimeters overlap on the left hand side. It's also a trailed machine, so this is trailed and linkage, uh, so mounted implement, where I'm going to have it a trailed. And then this is the distance between the uh, attachment point and the actual work, the machine itself, so about six meters to, to the pivot point on the machine. If you have a machine which has an over, which has an offset, simply press on the left hand side there, and you will see that you get another box here, and you can then add offset to your machine. So, for example, an offset mower that would be very handy for. You can also go the opposite way to the left hand side if the number is minus. Also, if you have a front mounted machine, you can simply select mounted and the distance between the front mount and the machine is shown up here. In the Smart Touch screen, you can also do coverage mapping, which is where the screen paints in behind the tractor where it's already been driven, which is really handy, especially for driving at night time and, such, and such like. To achieve coverage mapping, all you need to do is turn counter 1 on. So to do that, spin the tractor around and go into counters on the left-hand side there. Counter 1, you can give it a name if you want. I'm just going to leave it as counter 1 for now press record um, and choose what trigger you would like. So because I've got a harrow on the hydraulics, I'm just going to have it on first on the rear and on the plus there. So when I drop the machine down, it will start painting in. When I, uh, when I lift up the machine, it will then stop. If you want, you can have multiple triggers. So for example, you could have auto guidance in there as well. And that would actually, you would then need both things to be active for it to color in. Once you've done that, all you have to do is go to your map page, like so, and then as you'll see, once I start driving forward, I'll turn on the auto guidance, and now I'll drop the machine down, and voila, it's already painting in behind me. If I lift up the machine, it's as simple as it will stop painting in. There you go. If you would like to change your correction signal, that's very simple to do in this smart touch screen. Simply press where it says RTK network. Correction signal is up here, so you just press it. RTK network, 
I'm going to go to Egnos now, so I just press OK. And as you can see, it's changed onto Egnos, and you can see your signal strength there, where you have the green bars. That's how simple it is to set up Auto Guide on Smart Touch. Valtra, your working machine.